From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of the towering pine forest to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared in this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Hi, and welcome to Bayou Wild TV. I'm Don Dubuque. And I'm Martha Spencer, and we're at Morton Seafood Restaurant on the banks of the Chifuncta River in Madisonville. And they do have some excellent bald crawfish here, but we're going to go get our own crawfish this week. Yeah, we went down to Crawfish Haven, Barry Toops Estate, and we go crawfishing on our own. Kaplan, Louisiana, Mrs. Rose Bed and Breakfast. You can go there and go on the excursion, become part of the crew on the boat, or you can do it old school. We did a little bit of that too with the set nets. Absolutely, and the kids love it. It's a family fun event. You definitely need to check it out. And you definitely don't want to miss a high-tech seafood boiling demonstration. It's all coming up on this week's High You Live. Today we're out at Crawfish Haven, and we just caught a nice, fresh mess of crawfish, and I'm talking about fresh. They were swimming in the water about 20 minutes ago, and we're getting ready to boil. What I'd like to show you today is my method of boiling. A lot of people compliment me on my crawfish coming out perfect every time. Well, there's also some efficiency and some money-saving things you can do, too, when you're boiling your seafood. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. In the heart of Acadiana, just outside the quiet South Louisiana town of Kaplan sits a retreat which offers a true Cajun experience. Catch, cook, and sleep at Crawfish Haven, Mrs. Rose's bed and breakfast. 2010, I purchased 28 acres from Miss Rose and her nieces and nephews. When I bought the 28 acres, I decided to make a crawfish pond with it. And Every time I come check on the crawfish pond, I stop check on Miss Rose. Miss Rose and I got to be very close. Well, I brought my relatives from Biloxi crawfishing, and they had a blast in the boat crawfishing. And she said, why don't you do this commercially, take people crawfishing? And this is where we are today. That's when I decided to turn this place into a bed and breakfast, and we're taking people crawfishing from all over the world now. Guess at Mrs. Rose's bed and breakfast, can enjoy the ambiance of an early 1900s Acadian-style home in a peaceful country setting with accommodations for couples or multiple families. The highlight of your stay at Crawfish Haven is the unique experience of a crawfish excursion. Ride along in the boat with a guide and enjoy fun for all ages as you learn how crawfish are caught. We 
are very unique. And we educate you all about crawfish. We're going to teach you the sex of the crawfish. We're going to teach you uh, where to carry the eggs, how many eggs they'll carry. Um, you know, we, we'll educate you about the life cycle of a crawfish. And we got a little Cajun twist that we offer here too. Then end the day having a Cajun crawfish ball with your freshly caught crawfish. Take the catch, we come back here, we clean them good, and we'll ball them for you that evening or that afternoon. What, what makes it feel so good is when you get someone that has never ate crawfish before and they get, they're getting the, the crawfish from the pond to the table is really rewarding. And then you put like three pounds of crawfish in a tray and they said, oh, I can't eat all that. And they'll eat three pounds plus. But I gotta teach them how to peel them most of the time. We also fishing with the nets the old fashioned way and it is free actually. Because you're not guaranteed to catch. Some days are gonna be better than others. We've had people that come here and in, uh, in an hour catch 20 pounds of crawfish and some people have to fish all day to catch 20 pounds of crawfish. So it's, it's a hit miss, but we, we do offer the old Cajun way of fishing with nets, the old fashioned way. I've had people this year from France, from Canada, from Ireland. I guess we, we take all this for granted, but people that have never seen crawfish before, you actually being able to, to go from the pond to the table with them, it, it's real exciting for them, you know. Crawfish Haven, Mrs. Rose's bed and breakfast. The only place you can catch, cook, and sleep like a true cage. Woo hoo, look at that, a full basket. Yes, indeed, coming up, DIY crawfish. One of the things we offer here is crawfish excursions. And we're getting people from all over the world to experience this crawfish excursion. And, and to share our Cajun culture is what it's all about. So what we're doing now is sorting them based on their size. This one looks a little small, so we put them over there to test it out. If he can crawl through the, between the pipes, he's probably too small. And these are little babies. A lot of small ones. or fish, you really need to check out 20echo.com. It's an app that you can take on the water or on the hunt. It logs all the information. It's got the date, the GPS location, tons of information to log your catch or kill. It's a great thing to have. Check it out at 20echo.com and you'll see it more on Bayou Wild TV. Find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues. Contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. Woo, look at the crawfish hanging off of there. Yeah, we're catching crawfish old school. Not only is it a productive way to catch crawfish, it's a lot of fun too. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil, 
for great crawfish every time. All right, we got our traps have been baited out. We got the boat ready with Barry. We're getting ready to go out and do our crawfish excursion. This is my first time crawfishing. I can't wait to get them. They bite. Be careful. One of the things we offer here is crawfish excursions. And we're getting people from all over the world to experience this crawfish excursion. And, and to share our Cajun culture is what it's all about. We normally start like a week before Thanksgiving, depending on the weather, and we go all the way till June the 1st. So what we're doing now is sorting them based on their size. This one looks a little small, so we put them over there to test it out. If he can crawl through the, between the pipes, he's probably too small. Yeah. Teach you all about crawfish. We'll teach you the sex of the crawfish, how many eggs they carry, uh, the life cycle of them, the um, the water temperature where they grow the best, how many times they molt a year. You know, we, we teach you all about crawfish. It, it's not really that physical, except for the fact that you you know have to drag the sacks back to where you're going to the boil. But you do have to focus on it because they're always trying to go left and right and up and down and. If you don't pay attention, the smaller ones get in the sack that shouldn't. And you kind of learn to pick out the ones that are a little too young and kind of see the size difference in how they are. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. I didn't know what the traps were baited with. I didn't know what the biggest predator, actually that's not true. The biggest predator of a crawfish is a human. <laughs> What's that? What's that you said? Yeah, Mr. Barry's got a warm tub for you. Yeah, we're going to take care of you. Look at that little baby. Let's take a shrimp. He gets to live today. But I also didn't know that uh, minks were also a huge threat to them and they set up little pipes, pipe traps that the mink crawl into and get captured because they can break into the traps and eat the crawfish and they only eat the heads of the crawfish and leave the tail which is kind of opposite of many of us. This crawfish is darker, so it's last season's crawfish, and this one's got shorter tail hairs. So that's a male, and this is a female, and they carry their eggs underneath its tail. That's why they have longer tail feathers. That's a real one. Some of the stuff I learned today about crawfish was pretty interesting that they actually molt 12 to 13 times a year. Uh, female crawfish can carry up to 500 eggs and that's a good thing because we certainly eat enough of them around here. And uh, also the water temperature kind of designates how fast they grow. So maybe they were a little smaller this year because we had such cold winters, but the size on them today looked pretty good. We threw back the small ones and took the big ones home. People here are starting to notice us. When we opened three years ago, a lot of people said, you really think you're going to get people to come out here? 
And now I'm starting to get like uh, uh, weekend trips, uh, local people coming and uh, they're doing like uh, ladies weekends and that type of stuff. This year I also was honored to pardon a crawfish with the Lieutenant Governor's office. That's more than 40. That's like uh, probably about 43 pounds, I'd say. It's pretty heavy. Over 40, less than 45. Maybe 40. I don't know. <laughs> and we also do the fishing with the nets the old fashioned way. But that, you have to stay at the bed and breakfast to do it. And it's free to the guests, but you have to spend the night at the bed and breakfast to be able to experience it. Woo -hoo, look at that, a full basket. Yes, indeed. Now, Martha, this is old school crawfish, and this is the way we used to do it back in the day before traps and mud boats. The old pole, the step net, and a basket. So Don says this is the old man, I mean old school way to get crawfish. I'm not sure if I'm tall enough, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah. Yep, right over the top here. All right. Oh, we can spare them. Not so bad. All right, we got to reset. We came out to Kaplan to Crawfish Haven. We just worked the ponds and brought home some crawfish. We'll cook them up next. Yeah. All right, we got this to come to a roll and boil in six minutes. Now there's gonna be variables. We got a lot of wind out here today and that wind kind of disperses the flame. So without that wind in a protected place, it would have boiled even quicker. Now we're gonna find out how long it takes to come back after the crawfish are put in. Coming up next week on Bayou Wild TV, we join Chef John Foltz at White Oak Plantation in Baton Rouge for a boucherie. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Today we're out at Crawfish Haven and we just caught a nice fresh mess of crawfish and I'm talking about fresh. They were swimming in the water about 20 minutes ago and we're getting ready to boil them. What I'd like to show you today is my method of boiling. A lot of people compliment me on my crawfish coming out perfect every time. Well, there's also some efficiency and some money saving things you can do too when you're boiling your seafood. First of all, I want to talk about using propane. Propane is a much more efficient fuel than natural gas. It burns hotter, which means you use less of it. It certainly is a whole lot more portable and you can do your seafood boil anywhere you like. Next thing I'd like to talk about is an invention called a rocket pot. This is a pot that has just kind of revolutionized the boiling market. 
What it has done, the inventor attaches studs through a special welding process to the bottom. This increases the burning surface on the bottom, which attracts more heat. It gets much hotter, much quicker. So your initial boil comes to a boil a lot quicker than the standard pot. And then once you put the crawfish in and you get that tendency for it to cool down and it takes a while to come back, it comes back much quicker. Saves you time, also saves you energy because you're not using as much fuel. The other part of my efficiency cooking involves a product called the Boil Boss. This is a, a very good invention that's come up. You hook a simple garden hose to it, you fit it over the top of your pot, and it's kind of like a sprinkler system. And it shoots cold water on the outside of your pot. Now, what that does is two things. One, it cools down the temperature inside the pot. Crawfish cannot absorb seasoning at temperatures above 150 degrees. So you use a thermometer, and when that temperature gets less than 150, that's when you can get your good soak time where the seasonings being absorbed into the seafood. The Boil Boss is a very simple product. I'll demonstrate to you how you can use that. The other thing is using uh, the product Louisiana Fish Fry. A lot of people spend an awful lot of time mixing pepper, mixing salt, mixing onion, granulated garlic. The list goes on and on. And guess what? A lot of times they blow it. It never comes out the same way twice. The people at Louisiana Fish Fry with their one poor boil have spent a lot of time perfecting it to get it just right, where you got just the right amount of salt. It's not too much. It's not too light on the salt either, and the perfect blend of seasonings. So when you combine the propane, the rocket pot, the boil boss, and your instant one poor boil from Louisiana Fish Fry, you've got one of the most efficient, and cost-saving ways to boil seafood. All right, this is the rocket pot. Now you can see here there are numerous studs all across the bottom that takes a special weld to keep them from coming off of here. What this does, by having these studs, you're not just cooking with the bottom of the surface. You're cooking with an expanded surface, subtracting and holding more heat, and that more intense heat decreases your boiling time and comes back to your ball a whole lot quicker. All right, we got this to come to a roll and boil in six minutes. Now there's gonna be variables. We got a lot of wind out here today and that wind kind of disperses the flame. So without that wind in a protected place, it would have boiled even quicker. Now we're gonna find out how long it takes to come back after the crawfish are put in. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. This is one of the latest inventions for high-tech seafood boiling. 
This is called the Boil Boss. It's a pretty simple apparatus. It'll fit on a variety of pots by just locating the brackets on the edges and keeping it around away from the edge of the pot. Connects to a regular garden hose, and if we can have some water, we'll show you exactly what it's going to do. The idea of this is to serve a couple of purposes. One, it's going to cool down your boil much, much quicker. And when it's doing that, it lowers the temperature, and I always suggest using a thermometer. And when it gets to 150 degrees, that's when the seafood actually starts absorbing the seasoning. Up until that point, it's still cooking, and you don't want to overcook your seafood because then it becomes difficult to peel. One of the only things you need to do here, while this is spraying the water, is make sure you constantly stir that water in your pot. Because what will happen is it'll cool the edges, but the interior stays very hot. By rotating it and stirring it, you move the water from the middle to the edges where it cools quicker. What this does is it does not dilute the strength of your boil. So your salt and your spices still remain real potent in there without putting a lot of extra water. Also, it saves money as well as time. You don't have to go out and buy 10-pound bags of ice to put into your boil. The Boil Boss, wonderful invention. high-tech seafood boiling. It's high-tech, but it still makes the seafood taste great. We'll see you next time. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. And we hope you've enjoyed this week's Bayou Wild TV. Be sure and join us next week. Yeah, we're going to take you out on the airboat, and we're going to do some hog hunting, the entire episode dedicated to everything pig. Also take you to John Folson's Boucheret, and we'll have an interview with Dr. Jim LaCour, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries State Veterinarian, about some of the problems associated with feral hogs and maybe some measures we can take to control them. And as a reminder, we film here at Morton Seafood Restaurant on the banks of the Chifuncta. Come join us on Mondays around lunchtime. You can come say hi and eat lunch. And also a reminder to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks again for joining us on Bayou Wild.